gonna scroll through Facebook. Kind of bored. See what's good. Steve from Minecraft. Who's Minecraft? Okay, sure. Keep scrolling here. Man, that's pretty. Do y'all know what this means? Phantom Rage! Rusty comes back to sell Phantom Rage! Blazing Vortex! Electro is coming home! Let's go! The Electro is coming home! Let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Electro forever! This literally means in five months time, Electro will be in my extra deck! This literally means in five months time, I will be able to Electro Special out whatever I want! Make Celine! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! I will contain myself. It's just a card game. Come on, Doc! Let's go! This is the greatest news since Double Iris coming back. Electromite's coming back, and this is not just my level support. This is not just Electromite support. This is not just Dynamis also gonna win the creative card. Vote for Dynamis. This means that we get the greatest duo to ever grace Yu-Gi-Oh! history back, and that is Electromite and every single Pedro player in the planet. The greatest duo since these two. And You're the, the worst way, you president in America has ever had. Hey, hey, Come Joe, on. Let me, let me just tell you, Joe, I've done more in, in 47 months. I've done more than you've done in 47 years, Joe. Pen best deck, America, not the best country. Let's go. I lied. I love America. Maple syrup forever. Let's go, baby. Pen best deck, Canada best country. So for today's video, I'm... Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna be like when Electromite comes back. That seven negates with six cards in hand. Konami, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we got off the rough start, but I love you all, Konami, thank you. I will simp for you, Konami, forever. Just give me my Electromite, please. I'm the master petrol. All of you are all the fuck. And bring back events. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the power of Electromite and if Electromite came back. So if you guys ready for this video, smash the subscribe button because I know, I know that you will not want to be a part of the bandwagon, the Hobbs on the Trip gaming wagon, once Electro goes back and Pedro will take over the meta. So don't be a part of this 40%. Smash the subscribe button. Let's go, baby. Today, like I said, we're gonna show the meta what it really means to be a Pedro player. Let me show you guys right now what will happen if Electromite, when Electromite comes back. Let's go. <laughs> Before we get started in the video, make sure guys, Electromite's back. Electromite is back. So if you guys want to show your support, not to me, but to the best Yu-Gi-Oh card in the history of this game, get the tune, Electromite, call up Matt right now. Let's go. Smash the like button. And now, time to show you guys what happened if Electromite was in Endymion. If you're playing an Endymion deck, how would you use Electromite properly with Celine together? You guys are going to see the craziness right now. And then after that, I got a special surprise for you. So stay tuned until the end of the video. Let's go. Look at this, bro. Look at this. I even got the sweater on. I even got dark on. Let's go. Electromite in Pendulums today. What would happen? So as you saw there, serving up Doctor to get a free plus. Electro, let's go. I'm going to hand try me. I got five cards in hand. I'm a Pendulum 5, and I'm going to destroy you. Let's go. We even do a cool play here. Daybreaker, Anima. Pop that. Celine. Boom. Let's go. Next replay, just to show you guys how good it is together. Yeah, we're going fast speed, but if it's too fast, then keep up, baby. You give in Crowley first. Now much of the deck is gonna it could change in pure Demian. Yes, it will change in other versions, like ones I might show at the end of this video. But look at this, you're just plusing like crazy here thanks to the one Electrum. Like, you plus so much, and if you get hand trapped, you just don't care, because your plays just never stop. Putting up seven negates through literally any hand trap. I don't care, bro. You want to hand trap my Crowley? I don't care. I'm just making an Electro. You want to hand trap my Electro? No problem. I'm just going to make a Crowley. I'm going to end with multiple cards in my hand, and then I'm going to Selene, because Electro and any spellcaster make goes into Selene. But Endymion is not the only deck that gets boosted from Electro. What about, what about Pendulum Magicians? What happens when you pop your double iris? What happens when you pop your purple poison? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What happens when you recycle your one Electromite with Metal Foes? And that's the new deck that's coming out, baby! I'm telling you! Watch! Now it's time to show you guys what would happen if Electrum came back in a Magician deck. Wait a second. I'm also going to show you guys what happens if Electrum came back in a Metal Foes deck! Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Why not both? I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen in a Magician Metal Foes deck if Electromite ever came back. Let's go. Magician Metal Foes time, baby! I'm telling you guys right now that this, if Electromite came back, this will literally be better than Endymion. Magician Metal Foes, if Electromite came back without any new support, will be better than Endymion. Mark my words. Do you see this plus that you're about to get from Electromite with Metal Foes cards? It is absolutely insane how plus they are, and you haven't even seen anything yet. I'm putting some spice in this deck, and it is going to be plus to the max. I use Star Pengar to search Poison there. We don't have enough Magician to play Harmonizing. You're, it's, you're playing a mini Pendulum Magician Engine with Performer Pals in it too to get most value out of your Double Iris because Metal Pose, Electrum, Sorcerer all pop Double Iris. So you get a free plus because Iris is going to search Pengraph and then you're going to search pop Iris a second time. So in this build, you pop Iris two times, really abusing it as you should because it's not a hard once per turn card to get value out of Star Pengraph and the Trap Pengraph and then popping the Star Pengraph. We're going to do a cool play there. We're going to Mithrilium. We do have a very, very good hand. Otherwise, you could also, if you didn't have the souls, you can do a lot of cool plays uh, without the souls. Those are just showing what would happen in that situation. Uh, here we're going to scale some Metal Foes. And it's just so good how the deck could just keep going. It's just absolute gas. If you got Hand Trap at any moment, what, what did it matter? You have seven cards in hand if they Nibiru before Jackal. Who gives a shit? What are you going to do? Veiler my Electrum? I mean, you have so many ways to get it. If you Veiler your Electrum, you just make it a Mithrilium, link away your Electrum, and then you bring back the Mithrilium with Electrum, put Electrum back in the extra deck, and do it again. We Look at how many cards you have in hand. We didn't even do our main combo. We didn't even do our main combo yet. Our main combo is going to be Pencil something the Pensorg, baby. Let's go. This is all because of what one Electromite does. That was supposed to be a Gold Driver, not a Double Iris. Metaphor's Magician will be the best way to play this deck. I'm telling you guys right now, this deck is absolutely ridiculous. That seven negates with six cards in hand, and you draw two for turn. All right, guys, we're actually going to stop this video right now. Uh, some news, some bad news just came in. Rest in peace, my fallen soldiers. Dynamis has just lost the create a card project. Dynamis were supposed to be the savior of pendulums. They're supposed to be the savior, have the new card to just save us. And that's when I realized that it's a soul for a soul. They let Insectors win and made Dynamis lose. Otherwise, Pendulum will be too damn powerful, baby! Let's go! You think we need a Dynamis? You think we need Dynamis support? I want no Dynamis support, bro! Bonus time, baby, let's go! You thought the video was ending? No! For our fallen brother in the Dynamis, we are going to be showcasing the deck profile of Metal Bow's Magicians with Electromite. It is bonus time. It is the bonus round. It is Metal Bow's Magician Electrum. Let's go. Every like equals another negate for the best Metal Bow's deck you'll ever see. And then after you're done liking the video, smash the subscribe button. And, and get a beautiful Metal Bow's. Get a beautiful tune. Metal Foes, Electromite Playmat in the description below. And with that being said, it's time for the bonus round, baby. It's time for the bonus round. What would happen if Electromite came back in Metal Foes? Let's go. The best deck list right here, boys. Let's go. So at first you're going to think, Trip, why are you playing 60 cards? Well, why does Dragon Link play 45, 47 cards? Well, it's simply because you don't want to open up your bricks. If I open Combination or Pen Graphs, I don't really care. You have so many ways to Magician Souls anyways. But even if you were to open it without the souls, you'd rather not to open it. So 60 cards is just ideal. Uh, the double iris engine is way too plus with the perform by pen sork engine. Not to be playing the pendulum graphs. I would for sure play both pen graphs because with metal foes and electrum, you're popping double iris and pen sork. You could pop double iris literally three times if you wanted to. If there was a third pendulum graph, you could arguably play that too. Or well, I could play a double a second star pen graph, but there would just be no point of even adding it at that point. Uh, so I do think that's absolutely really good to play. If you look at the first 19 cards, the first 19 cards are all turbo cards for Electrum. Turbo cards are back. Let's go. We can't stick to the game plan of three Electrums. We can stick to it of one. Hamster and Rabbit are so broken together with Metal Foes specifically. 
Uh, you get so much plus and value out of them, as you guys saw. You don't need to open them. It's a, a normal summon and a time gazer equals the same thing. But these, these are a plus one, and hamster is actually a plus two if resolved properly. Wild Hope adds Curtain Razor, which is a plus one. Don't play Dark Worm. It has to take up your normal summon. If you hard draw it, so you can even say it's like three turbo cards for three bricks. I'd rather just not play it. Yeah, Dark Worm's good. I know Revolution Dragon, but if I, only if I play Pen Call. I'm not playing Pen Call in this version because I want Double Iris to get popped. Uh, the Triple Cerberus, if Cerberus gets Ash in Metal Pose, I don't care. The reason I don't play Cerberus in Current and Demian is because if it got Ash, it just sits there and it's really bad for Abductor and all that stuff. Speaking of Abductor, you do not play it in this build. You need the Metal Pose cards to keep popping each other back and forth, back and forth. You resolve the Metal Pose cards maybe five or six times in your turn, even though you only have three Metal Pose spells and traps. You keep putting it back with Fusion or Metridium Effect. Use it so many times that Abductor actually gets in the way. And because you play such few spell cards in this deck, you cannot play Abductor. You could normal summon Abductor to search souls, which is amazing. But I've opted not to play Abductor because I think Rabbit and Hamster are so good of a normal summon that I opted to take out Abductor. Yes, Abductor is so good to search the souls and clear everything, but I've just opted not to play it. Uh, it is a definite good choice if you want to play it. I've just opted not to. Even though it's 60 cards, it's actually so tight. Uh, six souls. Souls, if you open, it's fantastic. If not, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. One Jackal, you search it with a Cerberus or Jackal, but if you don't open the Cerberus, uh, then you use Souls to send the Jackal to Grave. If you don't open the Cerberus, Souls are aware of that, or the Jackal itself. You have 11 in total. Those are your out to Nibiru. Then you use Electrum to send the Jackal. If you already have one of those 11, use Electrum to send either the Double Iris or the Pendulum Sorcerer in that order. Or sometimes the scale you're missing, or the Rescue Hamster to get double scale. Duelist lines can search another, and you would like to ideally, you can also use Electrum twice. Even though it's at one, in this deck you can use it twice. If you guys saw them in third in play, I sent Electrum back. I could summon Electrum again if I wanted to that turn, but I didn't need to because I already had my full board. So in situations where you need another send, you could use Mithrilium to send back the Electrum to the great extra deck and use it again on your turn. So it's like you have two uh, Electrums, and then you could send the second of Iris and, and Pensor to complete your combo of like plus eight, like six cards and then plus five negates. Uh, the one poison and one celestial. I do not play harmonizing. You don't play pen call anyways And usually with harmonizing you have no magician left in your deck I don't want to play more magicians in the deck for that reason I don't play time gazer because metaphor all metaphor cards special chronograph already and chronograph rabbit and hamster are all one card Electrums because chronograph will just special any random pendulum in your hand when it gets destroyed by metaphor uh, You play one celestial because it's both a magician and a perform pile So it's very vital for perform pile pendulum sorcerer to pop a card to add this performer pal magician for pendulum graph to be used on that magician so for that opening hand we had the purple poison anyways to pop two but sometimes you don't have the access to that poison or access to the pen graph so you search the celestial magician by the perform ball pen sword yugo golem is also very good it's just a plus one in certain hands if you don't open the magician combo yugo golem will give you a plus one so it's it's very good in the deck and you want to be able to search two cards then we max out on all metal foes we play 21 metal foes maxed out uh, and then one fusion double combination. Oh, we don't play full metal foes. Fusion, I just think you plus so much in your turn, you just don't need it. You only play the full metal foes to make a, a good abysmal gear to be able to summon on the opponent's turn. Uh, you don't really need it. I guess post side deck, you could play one in case you want to play around Dark Ruler. Against Dark Ruler, you'll have Alkahes and Pop 2 with Pen Graph, which is fine. And again, post side deck, you're also going to have Super Poly and uh, different cards like that. Uh, maybe we're going second, I'm really good for going first. The Super Poly comes and I gets rid of three cards. Extra deck, Electrum, Cross Sheep, Mascarena. Electrum so good if it came back. Uh, it would just be remarkable. Once uh, Two Selene, but one Selene for going first. And then you have the Save the Selene and Exco for going second. What's crazy about this deck is after you put up the five negates with six cards in hand, you literally do the exact same shit going second because Mithrilium will just reshuffle all your uh, Metal Foes cards. You still have Ori Hulk, you'll have another Mithrilium, and you'll have your Electrum, Selene, and Axis Code, which is the most powerful engine of the deck. So what happens when you have this Electrum, Selene, and Access Code, all three of them left, plus Metrillium, plus um, uh, uh, Ori Hulk, plus Metrillium to bring back the Alcast and Electrum again for the third turn? Like, it's just absolutely crazy. And holy shit, that table is crazy broken. I'm surprised the hinges haven't even fell off yet. But we'll just keep trying. And that's it for the deck. Absolutely broken deck. I highly advise it to play Metaphose if Electrum comes back. I'm not a fan of it without Electrum. But even with the Electrum, I can do some really cool things. Even without Electrum, 100%. If you guys love Metal Pose, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll even do a video uh, that is Pendulums without Electrum. Or sorry, Metal Pose without Electrum. And we'll see how that goes. But after that, that's it for this.
If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. When Electro Mike comes back, it'll change the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! forever. And especially for every Pendulum player out there, you better, you better be playing Pendulums! I know everyone out there is a Pendulum player at heart. You might be watching this right now and thinking you're not a Pendulum player. Well, you are. You are a Pendulum player. Oh, why else are you watching me? Pen best deck, let's go! All right, we got the best deck out here. If Electromite is back, no one will stop us. So don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to get people tuned. Electromite Cloth playing that in the description down below before it all sells out. Got to tell you this from dollars. Sell out instantly. You get an ASAP, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can you be